Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Chocolate Covered Pages. I'm Kiona and in today's video, we are going to be doing probably my biggest unhaul yet. Um, I know that I did like two unhauls before and they were kind of like more like vlog style, but those take a long time to do and I don't get as many out the door as I would like to. So for this video, I have went through the shelves. Okay, as you can see, I got some movement here. Like, look at that. I ain't never had no movement. I have not had no movement in a long time. Okay, I went from the back to the front. Okay, both, both ends was getting checked out. So, I got a lot of books to go through. <laughs> a lot of books to go through some of them i've read most i have not and i've just lost interest for whatever reason you know people's people's um reading taste they change or whatever so we're gonna go through these quick very very quick because I, I gotta get them out the door okay remember i told y'all i have some new shelves that need to be put up in here but i can't even get my husband to put them up because i have all these books in here that still need to go but i want to show y'all what they are first and if y'all want to make a case for you know why i should keep a book around perhaps um definitely let me know i'll keep them around just a little bit longer until i hear from y'all and you know let me know down in the comments below if you know, if I'm getting rid of one of your faves and you really feel like I might like it, then okay, I'm a, I'll hear you out, okay? Before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already for more bookish content like this. So let's get into the video. Okay, so you can't really see this, but this is a very tall stack right here next to me. So we're going to go from stack to stack. I also have some in boxes, but I'm just going to pull them out so that I could show y'all. I have a few different categories for where these books are going. See, I have watched a lot of unhauled videos and a lot of times people don't say where the books are going. And I always wonder, like, okay, you unhauling it, but like where? But, like, where is it going? So, I'm going to tell y'all. Some of these books are going on my Pango. I made a Pango. Okay. And if you don't know what Pango Books is, Pango Books is basically a marketplace for books. So, if you see some here that I am unhauling and you want to purchase it for a very marked down price, let me know. Um... I will go through the ones that are specifically that I think people might want to purchase. They are in excellent condition, obviously, because most of them I ain't never even cracked open. Um, and they're popular. So, Pango Books. I also have a box that I am filling up to send to a predominantly black high school. That is going to be getting mailed, so I am, I, I'm going to have a lot of my Young Adult Black books going there. The rest of the books will be getting dispersed throughout uh, Free Little Libraries. So now let's start with this stack right here. Alright, so The Family Remains by Lisa Jewell. I read the first book, which was Family Affair? Is it Family Affair? <laughs> um, oh. Not the family affair. The family upstairs. Why did I just say the family affair? So I picked up the family upstairs because I liked another Lisa Jewel book that came out. And I was like, oh, let me just, let me check out this one too. Um, it was just, you know, it was just fine for me. I really don't need to continue with the series. So, um, out of the door it goes. All right. Um, The Bone Maker by Sarah Beth Durst. No, um, I think that's just like a fantasy or something. Dune, uh, this has the movie 
cover on it and this is more than likely going to end up in my pango I'll put it over there um i saw the book i saw the movie and you know the movie was cool i just don't want to read it i just don't care to read it what can i say um busy ain't the half of it by frederick smith and Chaz lamar cruz so these are two indie black queer authors and this book is about two black queer men i have like something happened when the author was sending this to me and i ended up with three copies of this book and i only need one so i am going to i'm not sure i might give this to another creator um if you're a creator and this sounds interesting to you um obviously definitely let me know i'll be happy to send it to you hollow kingdom by kira jane buxton I was slightly interested in this. Ooh, it was dusty. I was slightly interested in this. Um, I think the bird on the front talks. You know, I'm just not interested anymore. The Last Romantics by Tara Conklin. About that. Mina Among the Shadows. Oh, you know what? Why is this here? I'm keeping this. I, I didn't mean to put this here. I don't know why this is here. Mina Among the Shadows by Adim Awumi. This is a translated fiction and it's translated by Phyllis Aronoff and Howard Scott. Um, originally written in the French. Yeah, no, this was never supposed to be here. Let me um, put this in my, in my keep it area. Okay. Um, Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. I'm just not interested and um it was very popular when it came out but yeah nope sugar in my bowl real women write about real sex by erica jong not interested the book of hope by jane goodall and douglas abrams a survival guide from trying times <sighs> white on white ace ago Oh, oh, White on White by Asagul Savas. I think I want to put this in my maybe pal. I think so. It is by Riverhead, and Riverhead usually puts out bangers without fail. So I feel weird about putting, like, getting rid of it. Because I might want it. I do have a maybe pal, y'all. But we're going to get to that in a whole other video. But there is definitely a maybe pile, and I'm gonna slide it in there. Um, Love Like That by Emma Duffy Comparon. Comparon. I don't know what this is about, but I just um no. Um, The Sweetest Remedy by Jane Agaro. Such a cute cover. I just um the quest for oh oh climate. A fear by the uh, climate affair the quest for dignity in a dehumanized world by Wooly Soyinka. um I did this is one of the books that I picked up when I went to Curacao um I am very interested in this author but I don't think I'm interested in this topic like I'm not into like climate type stuff and when I got it I didn't really realize that at the time, I just saw, like, the author's name, and I was like, oh, yeah, give me that. See, this is why you gotta read. This is why. All right, The Ghost of Ashbury High by Jacqueline Moriarty. This is for kids. And it's gonna go into a free little library that is near a school. So it could go to some kids. A Radical Act of Free Magic by H.G. Parry. Yeah, uh, I'm not interested in this. The Viral Underclass. The Human Toll When Any Any Child. The Human Toll When Any Quality and D Disease Collide by Stephen W. Thrasher. If this person is black, this sounds terrible, but if this person, but listen, if this person is black, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to look it up. Because I do also have, in a very, like, similar area, I have Medical Apartheid. And I can't recall who's the author. Oh, uh, Harriet A. Washington. Because I have it over there. I, um, 
I think I want to keep this. This is supposed to be an unhauled video, and I am. I'm, I'm, I might be doing terribly. Because <laughs> I was supposed to be just throwing stuff, or just getting stuff out of here. Okay. No, I promise. I'm really unhauling stuff. Celebutants. This came out a while back. Um, I'm not interested. Mary and the Birth of Frankenstein by Anne Ecott. Translated by Laura Watkinson. Uh, this is a reimagining re of Frankenstein. I've never actually read Frankenstein, which is, you know, probably probably very terrible. Um, Scary Monsters, a novel in two parts by Michelle D. Kretzer. Okay. This Boy We Made, a memoir of motherhood, genetics, and facing the unknown by Taylor Harris. This one hurts, um, but, you know, y'all gonna get over it. The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. I really enjoy N.K. Jemisin. Um, I've recommended her before, but this one, personally, it just didn't work for me. Um... Yeah, it just didn't work for me. And it could also be because I'm not a big science fiction girl. And this one felt very science fiction-y. Um, as opposed to more fantasy-like, you know? And I really thought it was going to be something that I loved. I actually never... I didn't finish it. It's a DNF. But I DNF'd it at like maybe 30-40%. Um, you would think I would love it because, you know, it's set in New York. It's a very much a love letter to New York. But I just could not... I just wasn't connected. Alright, the, the Legend of Drizzt Starlight Enclave by R.A. Salvatore. Yeah, I just, I just don't care. Um, A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. The Ravens by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. Um, I think this is like a young adult. And that's where it's gonna go. Um, Fury Song by Rosaria Munda. So this is the third book in this fantasy series. And I read books one and two, and they were cool. They were fine. I just don't need to continue. Now, let's get into this stack, which you can't see, but it's literally right here next to me. Um, Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is a part of Brandon Sanderson's young adult um, sci-fi series. And I've come to the conclusion that... I only want to read Brandon Sanderson's adult books. Um, I read his The Final Empire, and that's the first book to the Mistborn series, and I just want to continue with that. I want to read um, the other series that he has for adults, and I just don't have the space to read his young adult books. So this is more than likely going to go into a bundle that I'm going to put on the pango. Okay. Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi. Um, I love this cover, but I don't think I'm interested in this anymore. In fact, I know I'm not interested in it anymore. Like, I'm just, you know, my taste is just changing. Um, Capture the Crown by Jennifer Estep. And I don't even think this is book one. This is another fantasy um, series. And then another book in that Skyward series, Cytonic. This is book three. It's going to be in the Pango. Uh, Star Sight, which is another book, which uh, this is book two in the series. All right, Luster by Raven Leilani. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't need to keep it. I read it. And I thought the writing was very good, but some parts of the story I just wasn't a fan of. And I was left asking why a lot. <laughs> why? What was the reason for this? Why did this happen? So, um, Jackal by Erin E. Adams. A lot of the ones from this pile I read, so, uh... 
yeah, I, I didn't like this. Notice y'all have never heard me speak about this book on this channel because I, a lot of people like this book and I didn't want to be the bad news bear of saying I ain't like this. But now that we are here and I have to say something about it, yeah, I, I did it. I didn't care for this. Um, I just, what was my issue? I read this, I read this when it first came out. So I will say that, which, oh my gosh, two years ago. Wow, doesn't time fly? <laughs> um, I just, it just wasn't enough for me. I wanted the horror to be more, you know, I just, I can't say more without spoiling that book. The Gone Dead by Chanel Benz. Um, I did not like this at all. Oh my gosh, I hated this book so much. And it's supposed to be a thriller. And then you tried to throw a romance in there. The romance was so trash. Um, the Stranger in the Mirror by Liz Constantine. <sighs> did I read this? Um, yes, I did read this. And I ain't like it. <laughs> this is another, this is, I, me and mystery thrillers, I'm telling you, when you tell me the book is a mystery thriller, like, you bet to come with it. You better come with it. Otherwise, I'm just... I think my patience for mystery thrillers is just like, like this small, I think. I ain't like that. I did not like that at all. The Dutch House by Ann Patchett. I'm trying to figure out like, why, how did this even stay in this house? Because I, I read it and I hated it while I was reading it. And then I was even angrier that I ended up finishing it. And yet it's still in this house. I'm telling you, things will really just sneak on by these books. These sneaky books. Because I've kept like a lot of books that I finished reading. I keep them in a specific area. But it's on the bottom. Um, it be book stacks in front of it sometimes. So I don't even get to see the books once I finish reading it. Unless I need to pull it out to talk to y'all about it. Okay, Black Girls Must Die Exhausted by Jane Allen. I'm only giving this away because I have multiple copies of this. Just want to be clear. The Monsters We Defy by Leslie Penelope. I, um, I read this. I think that uh, I wish I liked it more. Um, I didn't hate it. It was fine. Uh, I think that maybe someone else might get more from this. That's a great way of putting it. <laughs> um, this, I don't even know what this is still doing in my house. I hated this book. I never talk about this book because I don't want anyone to read it. Black people, white people, whoever, I don't want nobody reading this book. I want us to act like this book never happened. That's how much I hate this book to the core of me to the core of me everything about it everything about this book i hate okay i felt like it was marketed for black it was marketed to black women but then when you read it you realize that it wasn't actually for black women at all like it was very white gazy um it just it wasn't for us it did a lot of explaining in which it was just like, if it was for us, like, you wouldn't even have to explain. You know, um, it's just so many, it's so many, it's so many things in this book that I hated. I made a 15 minute video telling y'all how much I hated this book and breaking down all the things that upset me about this book. And then I decided, you know what, the best thing I could do is to not talk about this book. Anybody picking up this book will never be picking it up because Chocolate Covered Pages said something about this book. When people are in the bookstore, they might be thinking, oh, you know what? Somebody was talking about this book. I don't remember who. I don't remember what they were saying, but they was talking about it. Not remembering that the person was saying, hey, don't buy this. So they might just end up picking it up just because you were showing it. And so I decided I'm never going to show y'all this book.
until now, okay? It's just, just to remind y'all, um, it's trash, okay? It's terrible. Never want to see it again. I can't wait to get rid of it. Terrible. I now the the TV show. I am gonna de I am going to give the TV show a chance because I'm hoping that maybe they can do something more with the TV show than was done with this book. Um, behind you is the Sea by Susan Muadi. Siraj. It's about a Palestinian American community in Baltimore. And I just have a double of this. So I'm going to get rid of the advanced reader copy. Midnight Runes by Donye Coles. Y'all already know how I felt about this book. I felt like the beginning was pretty good. And then um, towards the middle to the end, I just kind of like really lost interest with a lot of the things that was going on. It was not clear. And, um, yeah, it was just hard for me to follow along. Um, and Now She's Gone by Rachel Housel Hall. Uh, this is a mystery thriller. I didn't like this book at all. It's very long. Um, in my opinion, way too long. And it sucks because I really wanted to love this. The author literally sent me this personally. Um... So I felt bad, you know, that I that I didn't love it. I wanted to love it. I, don't you hate that? Where you really, like, you, you rooting for a book, and then you go to read it, and it's like, oh, no. <laughs> um, The Days of Afrikiti by Asali, Asali Solomon. There are past and present chapters in this book. And I really enjoyed the past chapters and I really hated the present chapters. So it's hard for me to like a book when I don't like half of it, if that makes sense. Um, I just feel like certain things in this book could have just been completely left out. I really wish this book was just in the past. I feel like this book would have been so dope if it was literally just in the past. We didn't need any of the stuff that took place in the present. It did nothing for the story. For You know, for me, it did nothing to, for the story. Except bring it down like three notches. So, I'm definitely going to be getting rid of that. Um, the Lake by Natasha Preston. I have some other books by Natasha Preston. And I may... Uh, read her at some point one of those copies but I don't need to physically keep them the poison thread by Laura Purcell which is considered a Victorian gothic um, winter sisters by Tim Westover always I just thought that this cover was just really cool looking but I know I'm not gonna read it I'm not gonna read it. In Deeper Waters by F.T. Lukens. This is a young adult and it's gonna go in that young adult box. The Confessions of Franny Langton by Sarah Collins. Now, <clears throat> when I did my Black UK Authors video, um, this book was brought up. In the comment section and I must say I didn't I don't even think I said it in the comment section um, but I didn't like this book which is why I didn't mention this book or this author in that video because why am I gonna be saying oh you know UK authors that should be on your radio radar and then it's a book I didn't even like right now this isn't to say that you won't like it but I can't stand behind that recommendation because I didn't like it. Um, I found this book to be pretty boring. Um, I think the synopsis is great, but then when you go into it, it's just it just felt really flat for me. Now I am interested in watching the TV show though. You will notice about me that I will watch the TV show or the movie version of books that I didn't particularly like because. Sometimes things just look better visually and a lot of times the TV shows can cut out all the 
like all the fat, like all the boring parts where it was just nothing happening. The TV show will get rid of all of that and just focus on the meat. What Comes After by Joanne Tompkins. The Woman in Red by Diana G Giovinazzo. which I think is a historical fiction. Family Trust by Kathy Wang. Okay, I had to, I had to go drag some of the other stacks and boxes over here. All right, so let's continue. This is going to be a mixture of free little library stuff and, um, Books that I am sending to the predominantly black high school. Okay, so Paper Names by Susie Luo. Um, this is going to the school. The Taking of Jake Livingston. When this first came out, I was really interested. Um, but as I moved further and further away from young adult books... Uh, I just know I'm probably not gonna get to it because it's not gonna scare me. It's not gonna scare me. Um, the Black Queen by Jumada Emil. You know, let these black kids read this, read this stuff, and you know, enjoy it. They don't need to be sitting here taking up, taking up space and collecting dust. Okay, this is going to Little Free Library. The Suns Will Rise. This is book three in the System Divine series by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell. This is huge. Look at how much space this book would take up. It's freaking huge. Um, this is book one in the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn. I don't need to keep this. You see my little tabs here? I read it. Um... I'm just happy to say I read it, okay, because when everybody was going crazy for Bridgerton, I said I wasn't going to watch the TV show, I'm just going to um, read the book first, and then when I was reading the book, I realized how much seasoning she actually gave to this series, and I'm just like, I might as well just watch the show, enjoy the seasoning, because this, no. Is giving bland. It's just no. Um, yeah, but somebody'll somebody'll want that. It's gonna go in the pingo. It's gonna go in the pingo. Um, in search of perfumes, a lifetime journey to the source of nature scents by Dominique Rokes. I don't know how I ended up with this, but it's certainly not my type of nonfiction. Lucha of the Night Forest by Tellor. K. Magia. And this is probably going to go to the predominantly black high school. The Lives of the Million Dollar Babies, Heiresses by Laura Thompson. I don't know why I said yes to this. When, or maybe I didn't. I probably did. Um, I'm not interested. Um, House Party by, oh, this is an anthology. Edited by Justin A. Reynolds, and this cover is so cool. Um, definitely going to the high school. Forged by Blood by Ihigbor Okasun. I love this cover so much. It's not gotten the best reviews, but, you know, the cover eats. So hopefully the kids like it. The Lost Dreamer by Liz Huerta. Um, Your Corner Dark by Desmond Hall. Um, this is a On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I never read it. Um, I don't think I'll ever read it, so I'm just gonna pass it on. Promise Broken by Kawan. Um, y'all know I love Kawan, but you know, that's for young adults. The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. Um, Shadow and Bone 
this has the new cover on it for the tv show series on netflix um i actually read this when it had the old cover i i actually read this and i liked it um but i don't this is like um a second copy or something and i don't need to keep it at all so i am gonna put that in the pango in case anybody wants it there goes the neighborhood by jade adia I think some black kids would really uh, be happy to see this book, you know. So this is the Fly Girl series. So uh, number one is Lux, the new girl. Number two is Micah, the good girl. Number three is Noelle, the mean girl. And number four is Tobin, the it girl. And these are all by Ashley Woodfolk. I don't need to keep these. Let me give this to some to some little girls that's going to love the little drama that's in them books. Because I know it's drama. One of the good ones by Maika Mulit Mul and Maritza Mulit. These are sisters. I actually met them a few years back. They're so sweet. They're so beautiful in person. Oh my gosh. They're so nice. Um, yes, this is their young adult book. And they have another one. And I don't... Oh yes, Dear Haiti, Love Elaine. And it might be in here somewhere. I don't remember. But I, yeah, I never read them. But um, I'm sure somebody would love to. Dear Justice by Nick Stone. Burn Down, Rise Up by Vincent Torado. Vincent Torado is the same author of the adult book, We Came to Welcome You. And I didn't realize that until I saw the, the, the cover, the title, and I was like, Vincent Torado, why does that name sound familiar? So, yes, I will keep the adult title. But this one, I'm going to get rid of. All right, another Angie Thomas. I wanted to say Angie Stone, y'all. <laughs> like, it was just in me to say Angie Stone. Um, Concrete Rose. This was a really cool marketing campaign. I actually got a pair of red and black Saucony sneakers that were made to complement this book i thought that was so cool i still didn't read the book but you know um uh, bruised by tanya bateju i always thought that this cover was so cool somebody would like it uh wild blood by lauren blackwood I'm actually only getting rid of this because I have the paperback version and I prefer the paperback. So they can have the hardcover, but this is young adult. You see how I'm being very selective about my young adult that I keep on, that I keep here. Uh, Blackout, and this has multiple uh, authors on here, black authors. And um, let's see, what is it? Uh, even love stories can glow when the nights go out, when the lights go. Um, Nicola, Nicola Yoon, Ashley Woodfolk, Angie Thomas, Danielle Clayton, Tiffany D. Jackson, and Nick Stone. So, a lot of heavy hitters on this one. Uh, Thirsty by Jazz Hammonds. I am interested in reading this book. I have the paperback advanced reader copy, so I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to give them this. The Kindred, One Bond Can Save a Kingdom by Alicia Dow. Okay. Rebel Sisters. This is a sequel to War Girls by Tochi Onyabuchi. I did read War Girls and there are some things that I liked about it and some things I didn't. I just as a whole I just thought that it was too long. Um and just looking at this one just had me feeling like it's going to be part two of how long number one was. So I was not interested in continuing the series. But one of these kids might really be interested. Um, okay, what else? 
Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. First of all, I freaking love this book. This is the gra graphic novel version of this. When I read this book, I did not... I'm just showing you like some of the artwork. When it's graphic novels, I like to try to show the artwork. Um, when I read this book initially years back when it first came out, I read the regular version. Um, I did it on audio. I loved it. I loved it so much. I felt choked up. I did not think a young adult book would ever make me feel so many feelings. Um, and the audiobook is fantastic. Then when they came out with the graphic novel, I had to have it. I actually have two copies of it. This is the hardcover copy. And I have the... Of course, I don't see it now. Oh, wait. Here it is. I have the paperback version so I'm gonna keep the paperback and I'm gonna let the kids have the hardcover even though I probably should keep the hardcover and give them the paperback because they probably want to tear it up but you know of course I can't get it back in I'm just gonna sit right here. <laughs> um yeah I'm gonna let them have the hardcover more for the kids Tell Me What Really Happened by Chelsea Sadati. Okay. Where Was Goodbye by Janice Lynn Mather. Some of these covers with these black girls on it and these black boys, I'm just so full. You know, the, represent the representation. I didn't have this when I was a kid. Like, I did not have this. And it brings me so much joy to donate for these kids to see, you know, all the things. You know? Um, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. I get asked a lot, like, why am I not mentioning her in recommendation videos? Um, specifically the fantasy one, I didn't mention her in. And a few people mentioned, like, oh, what about... You know, it's very popular. And for me, when something is super popular, I don't know if it needs my voice added to it. People already know about it. I don't have anything new to add to the conversation. I only read this book in the series. I don't have an interest in reading the rest of the books in the series. So, um, yeah, so I decided I'm going to unhaul this one and let another, let a, a black kid discover this series. All right, Black Shield Maiden by Willow Smith and Jess Hendel. I don't know if this would be considered young adult exactly, but as much as what I did read of this, I didn't see anything that was like salacious <laughs> or anything like that. Um, I DNF this. This book was just... It, it it was just dragging for me. Um, I think it had a very good start, but it just could not keep my attention. And I am tired of forcing it. I tried to finish this book like three times. I can't do it. And honestly, Willow Smith does the audiobook. I would say if you were going to try to get in, like get into this book, I would say try reading it with your eyes because there's a reason why there are real like audio actors and narrators and stuff and I don't think that she does the book justice by reading it herself is what I will say mm -hmm. yep so I'm not super opposed to going back to it I just know that when I do it needs to be with my eyes and I also have another co copy of this I have the advanced reader copy all right, um, A Sweet Sting of Salt by Rose Sutherland. I'm just, you know, not super interested. A Wilderness of Stars by Shay Earnshaw. Lore of the Wilds by Anna Lay Sabrana. I've decided to keep the finished hardcover that I have because it's so pretty. Um, I am going to unhaul. I know this is going to hurt some of y'all feelings, but you know, 
it is what it is, you know. Uh, Legend Born by Tracy Dion and Bloodmarked. Because I think that somebody would be very happy to find these books in this box. They would probably feel like they, they hit the jackpot. They got the whole series in here. They could just dive in, right? Um, I started reading a little bit of Legend Born and I just... It just didn't work for me. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna keep it at that. I'm just gonna keep it at that. You know, no, no need to get all up into the nitty gritty. It just, it just didn't work for me, from what I had already read. All right, the Honeys by Ryan Lasala. This is another young adult. It just couldn't fit in that box. And now we're getting into more of the books that are going to be going to Little Free Libraries. Alright. Edge of the Grave by Rog Robbie Morrison. I don't even know what that's about. I don't even know why it's here, but... Okay, Killjoy by Holly Jackson, A Good Girl's a Guide to Murder novella. Um, I'm probably going to stick this in the free little library that is near um, a school. Because that's for kids. White Teeth by Zadie Smith. This is another author that um, people were saying to me in the Black UK video... What about Zadie Smith? What about Zadie Smith? And, you know, I respect y'all and y'all feelings and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it's not that I, it's not, it's not that I don't know who Zadie Smith is. Okay? I know who she is. I personally just do not get along with her writing. I've tried. I want to love her. I've not found any book of her so far that I've picked up that I've been like, I'm enjoying this. Not once. Okay, I was forcing myself to read this so much that I ended up hating it. Because I was just angry. I was hate reading it. Okay, and you don't want to get to the point where you hate reading a book. Like, that is so whack to hate read a book. You know how many other books you could be reading instead of hate reading a book? So, yeah, um, we just don't, we don't get along right now at this point in my life, at this point in her life, writing, like, and I just have to accept that. It's just certain authors where we're just not gonna jive. You know, and y'all can't make us job. <laughs> if you love her, that is great. I I feel like she is a highly respected author. And I respect her as well as like, you know, for all the work that she's done. You know, um, I, I think it's great. I just know that me personally, her and I, we just don't mix well. Okay? So, I don't need to keep those anymore. That book came in last year's um, book advent box. And I was pissed. If y'all seen that video, I was pissed when I opened that book. And I was like, I knew from the orange that it was white teeth. And I was like, please don't be white teeth. And I opened it and it was. And I was like, you know what? You should have known. Okay. A Christmas book. Love Holly by Emily Stone. Yes. Unhauling that. Somebody's going to be real happy for that. Is this an arc? Oh, I could put it in a pango. It's not an arc. It's a paperback. Um, The Double Life of Benson Yu. Um, when I first said yes to this book, I did not know that this was a young adult. So, it's, it's, uh, it's going by the school. Uh, just by looking at him by Ryan Con Ryan O'Connell um, I think that this is yes this is a queer romance um, Hinch by Natalie Zena Walshkots 
initially I was very interested in that and since my interest has kind of waned a bit Feng Si Chi's First Love Paradise by Lin Yi Han um this is a second copy I'm very interested in reading this book it's a memoir by the way was it no it's not a memoir it's translated fiction it is written as a novel but it's very much based off of a situation that happened to the author um one of our kind by nicola yoon i've decided to unhaul this one only because a significant amount of black readers have said that this book is pretty harmful and offensive and white gazy and it was just giving me flashbacks of the other black girl and i was just thinking it's if it's that like i don't need to waste my time with that you know maybe i could catch the ebook and check it out on a day where i got a little time on my hand um but i don't need to keep the advanced reader copy of that all right this one might come as a surprise that i'm getting rid of but that time I got drunk and saved a demon by Kimberly Lemming. Uh, this is not bad by any means. It's actually pretty funny. I just think that I just think that I am I don't have a big interest in this type of paranormal if that makes sense like it's giving like kind of like cozy i i i'm me and cozy used to be really good girlfriends and then i don't know what happened in my life but we we drifted apart <laughs> we drifted apart so i want to give it to somebody that is really interested and is going to be fully invested in this black women's book like i don't want to just hold on to it you know so this is another book in that brandon sanderson ya series this is book number four defiant and i think what i'll do i'm gonna offer that as a bundle and then i'll just throw this one in for free if the person decides to buy the other three books um the referral program by shamara ray this book just got messed up i don't know what's on this book but it's gonna have to go into a free little library your time to thrive in burnout increase well-being and unlock your full potential with the new science of micro steps okay um this just, I don't know what happened to this book. I think I just had it too long. 16 Isn't Always Sweet by Cassandra Carter. This is part of the Kimani True little imprint. Um, these books used to be really entertaining back in the day. Transcendent Kingdom by Yag Jossi. This is a extra copy. I have another one back there that I am actually going to read. True Biz by Sarah Novick. Shark Heart by Emily Habeck. This is an advanced reader copy of James by Percival Everett. I'm going to keep my finished hardcover. The State's Witness, An Unwanted Dilemma by Kayeris Ashley. Um, I wasn't a fan of this, so I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, the Rule Book by Sarah Adams. Pride and Preston Lynn by Christina Huang Dudley. Daughters of Oduma. This is going into, this is about a 16 year old, it's going to go into that. For the high school, Witchlings by Clarabelle A. Ortega. I thought that this was a graphic novel because I would have read it, but it's not actually. It's like a little chapter book. And it's not for high school, Um, I think that's like middle grade. I think this is middle grade as well. Camp Twisted. Camp Twisted Pine by Sierra Birch. I don't know how did I end up with middle grade. I have never, not one time, said I'm into middle grade. But 
Here they are. Rock the Boat by Beck Dory Stein. Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams. I do want to read No Exit by Taylor Adams. But I've not heard a, a peep about hair bridge, Hairpin Bridge. Which means it's probably not good. Because if it was good, the people would be talking about it. Survivor Song by Paul Tremblay. An American Immigrant by Johanna Rojas Van. The Frame Up by Gwenda Bond. Which I think is like a romance. Ghostly by Audrey Neffenegger. Alright, had to drag another another stack over here. I hope this video is not too long because <laughs> Counting Oh Courting Samira by Amal Awad. The Beginning of Everything by Jackie Frazier. I don't even know what this is about, but it just I like the fact that she's in a bookshop, but it just feels like it's gonna be boring. End of story by AJ Finn. I'm not interested. If anything AJ Finn has to say. The Night of the Raven Dawn of the Dove. That's a lot. What? <laughs> like, that's a lot. By Rati Maratra. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to the kids. I didn't, I, I, yeah. This is gonna go to the kids. Um. Let's go with this. Da uh, Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Robel. I initially got this one because um, it is very much like um, oh what are those what is that girl's name the one I can't think of her name right now but it's she has a um I think a documentary or a series the one where um her mom makes her think that she's sick so her mom keeps giving her like all these like um medications that she doesn't need and things of that nature and then the the girl the girl gets her boyfriend to kill the mom and she went away both of them went to prison for a long time but she just got out like maybe i want to say maybe a year ago she got out but anyway this book <laughs> this book is supposed to be similar to that okay um and now that i'm talking about it i'm kind of getting interested again because i was interested when i said yes to it all right maybe i'll keep it or maybe i'll just do it on audio i, I just don't need it to be here in this house i really just don't i really just don't yeah i'm gonna get rid of it i'm gonna give it to the kids Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is the book two in the Shadow. You know the series. Um, what's this? What's the series called? Shadow and Bone series. Um, this I got from a library sale for like twenty five cents. I'm gonna get rid of it actually. I'll put it with the um shadow and bone things we couldn't say by j coles this is for young boys to read young black boys specifically um eagle rock which is by ian k smith it seems like it is part of a series so i'm gonna give it away because it doesn't seem like my type of it seems like more like crime fiction as opposed to like mystery thriller, if that makes sense. The Silence in Her Eyes. I'm going to unhold this. I started listening to this on audio back in, I want to say like maybe like June, July. And it wasn't really doing anything for me. Uh, Dark Star Burning Ash Falls White by Emily Wen Zhao. The fantasy series Rouge by Mona Awad. This was the first Mona Awad that I had tried to read and it was boring me. So, 
I'm still going to give Bunny a chance because that's her popular one. But The Perfect Fine by Tia Williams. I tried reading this and it wasn't doing anything for me to be honest like it, it just like i just i realized while i was reading that i just did not care um and then the movie came out i started watching the movie and then i just realized during the movie i still didn't care <laughs> uh gosh that's ter that sounds terrible but i just i just like i don't know I can't explain it. Anyway, if you're interested, it's going in a pango. Okay? Code name Badass. True story of Virginia Hall by Heather Dem Demetrios. Good morning, love by Ashley M. Coleman. I say yes to this because this actually looks really cute. Like the cover. I love how the two black people, like, they just look cute and comfy together. They got on their sweats together. Like, that's how me and my husband be in the airport. <laughs> um, but I, I, I don't think that it's my brand of romance, if that makes sense. So, I don't want to hold on to it knowing that, okay? So, I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to give it. To somebody that you know will want it. Um, Six of Crows. I do want to read this by Lee Bardugo, Bardugo. This is the same author of Shadow. Why can't I think of Shadow and Bone? This is the same. This is like a spin-off companion series to that one. And I still want to read it. I think I'm gonna abandon the Shadow and Bone series, right? And then I'm going to just pick up Six of Crows. Because I, I hear that this one is just way better. Um, and yeah. But I don't need to keep this book. <laughs> You're probably like, well then why the hell are you unhauling it then? If you want to read it. I don't need to keep this to know that I want to eventually get to Six of Crows. There we go. That's how I want to put that. All right, The Distant Dead by Heather Young. All right, These Feathered Flames by Alexandra Overy. That's an interesting name. Okay, Cruel Intentions by Margie Fuston. That's another young adult. Water for Elevate. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. This was really popular a million years ago, which is why I said yes to it, but I, I'm just not interested anymore. The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim. More fantasy. God Loves Haiti by Dimitri Elias Leger. Um, I tried to read this a few years back. I just, it wasn't doing anything for me. Um, the Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. This is also a TV series, and I think one of these kids might really like it. Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. This is another fantasy young adult. The Witch and the Vampire by Francesca Flores. Another romanticy for the kids. The Death and Life of Aida Hernandez. A border story. Alright. Before the Ruins by Victoria Gosling. Mediocre. The Dangerous Legacy of White Male America. By Ijeoma Olu. I don't need to read that. <laughs> if you know, you know. I definitely don't need to read that. Um, Such Big Dreams by Rima Patel. My Father, the Panda Killer by Jamie Jo Hung. Going to the kids. The Sham Shine Blind by Paz Pardo. When Ghosts Come Home by Wiley Cash. 
All right. The Black Phone Stories by Joe Hill. Uh, this is a TV show or a movie. One or the other. But I am going to watch that. I don't need to read that. Um, the Girl with the Louding Voice by Abidari. You might be saying, you was just talking about this book and now you unhauling it. Yes, and let me tell you why. I realize after talking about it that I am not as interested in continuing this storyline as I thought. Okay? I was okay with the way this book ended i don't necessarily feel like i need to continue on with her story and let me also say that at the time when i read this i was a fan of coming of age stories and things like that and I, i'm i'm just not anymore it's not my life i'm just it don't do it for me you know like it used to it's a good story don't get me wrong it definitely is but I don't need to continue with it. So I want to give this and book two to someone to someone that is really going to appreciate the story of Aduni and meeting her and getting engrossed into that. You know, Summer Sisters by Judy Bloom. Oh, Judy Bloom. Such a big part of my childhood that Judy Bloom, you know. Um, The Library Thief by Kuchinga Shinji. I read this book. I like some things. Some things I didn't care for. I don't need to keep it. So I'm going to unhaul it. Weather by Jenny O'Phil. Originally, I wanted this book. But then I realized it's very much having to do with weather. <laughs> the damn book is called weather but in my mind it wasn't like it's really talking about weather in this book like i don't care about that i'm not interested at all i i don't know maybe you haven't realized like climate type books no 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 unhaul okay sure i'll be your black friend by ben phillip um and no no i will not I will not be your black friend. Uh, the Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan. Um, I got these in a... I got that one in a library sale. Why did I get it? I don't know. I don't need that book. Who Killed Piet Barrel by Richard Mason. I have no idea what this book is about. And I'm not interested in figuring it out. Ready Where You Are by Gary Lonesborough. Alright. I got I grabbed another stack. Let's keep going. Um, a lot of the ones that I'm about to mention are the ones that specifically are going to be in the pango. So listen up if you're interested. Portrait of a Thief by Grace D. Grace D. Lee. Um, I listened to a little bit of that on audio and, um, I, I don't think it was for me. Uh, In It to Win It by Sharon C. Cooper. I love this cover. Uh, not exactly my brand of romance, but I think somebody that is into, um, more contemporary romance would probably like it. And I think... It might be an enemies to lovers, is it? Yeah, two entrepreneurs compete for a property but secure the, big, the biggest win of all, each other. Oh, second chance romantic comedy. See, I don't do rom-coms. I don't do rom-coms, but other people do. So, let them have it. Um, Blood Over Bright Haven, which... If you by Emma Wong, if you saw my unboxing video, you saw that I got two copies of this. So I am going to be selling this other one. Look at the sprayed edges, y'all. The sprayed edges. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, the Townsend Family Recipe for Disaster by Shauna Robinson. I have 
the advanced reader copy. So I'm going to get rid of the regular paperback. And so I Raw by Abidari. This is the book two from the girl with the loud and voice. So I'm going to put two of them together. And whoever buys this one, they will get the first book for free. So that they can read both of them together. The Good Fortune by C.K. Chow. Rebecca Not Becky by Christine Platt and Catherine Wigginton Green. It actually pains me to get rid of this one because this cover eats so much. Nubia The Awakening by Omar Epps and Clarence A. Haynes. I'm going to sell this one. It's literally in like, look, that's as far as it'll go because I've never cracked the spine on it. All right, so this is another book that I will be including in that Brandon Sanderson thing. This is called Skyward Flight, the collection, which has some like little novellas that are part of that same world for the Skyward trilogy. So, or quartet actually because it's four books i'm gonna include this one as well the wildest sun by asha lemmy um this one didn't work for me i think i actually have two copies of this we have the excalibur's curse the camelot betrayal the guinevere deception which i think that one's actually book one and um all by kirsten white I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of the whole thing. Riot Baby by Tochi on Yabuchi. I read this book years ago and I liked it, but I don't think that I need to keep it in my library because I personally only want to keep favorites in my library. Of like books I've already read just favorites all right see i did have another copy of this this is the hardcover hardcover of portrait of a thief <sighs> passion for the heist by kawan listen i'm a fan of kawan and i don't wanna <laughs> all i have to say is yes i read that and i just need y'all to respect my privacy because I don't want to talk about it like I legit <laughs> I read it quietly I didn't tell y'all that I read it I didn't say nothing not a peep but I'm unhauling this okay this is the um the full paperback I have the advanced reader copy and I am going to be selling walk through fire by Sheila Johnson a memoir of love loss and triumph and this is actually signed. I went to an event. I went to an event. Uh, she had a party when this came out in Manhattan. And I was invited. And they gave everyone two signed copies of the book. So I'm keeping one. And I'm going to get rid of one. The Mystery Guest by Anita Prose. I'm not really, um, I tried to get into that series. It didn't really work out. So, yeah. Um, The Awoken by Caitlin Monroe House. What caught my attention about this book is that it is blurred by Issa Rae. And, and initially, that is literally what made me say, okay, yeah, give me that. But now, I'm just like, you know, I, I, I just don't care. I'm not interested. Whatever this book is about, I'm just not interested. All right. Watch Where They Hide by Tamron Hall. This is a duplicate copy. The Cursed Friend by Beatrice Salvioni. I have two copies of this. Midnight Rooms by Donye Coles. I'm going to get rid of the hardcover. Well, I'm also going to get rid of the advanced reader copy. But I'm going to sell the hardcover. Okay. You Know What You Did by KT Nguyen. I started listening a little bit to it. Not even enough to be able to, to say, like, for sure, this is how I feel about it. But, um, you know, 
Trying to Sleep in a Bed You Made by Virginia DeBerry and Donna Grant. I love these um, re-releases of these covers of this book. I actually ended up reading this book uh, a few months back. And I don't need to keep it. I don't need to keep it. The Narrows by Ann Petrie. Now, um, the only reason why I'm getting rid of this is because if you watch that video, is a book haul video where I accidentally purchased two copies of this and two copies of the country so i'm going to sell this one it's in great condition minus the little dark thing that um book outlet so kindly does to their books uh an orchestra of minorities by chigozi obioma this is another book that i purchased during the book outlet sale and come to find out i had a copy already you know like i don't know what's wrong with me the last dream by pedro almodovar almodovar Camp Zero by Michelle Min Sterling. This is going to go into a free library because it is an advanced reader copy. All right, we got another box. <laughs> uh, and this is probably going to be the last box. There's so many books, y'all. It's so many books. Okay. The Disenchantment by Celia Bell. All right, Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clear. I was going to read this entire series and then I realized that I just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. The Sisters of Reckoning by Charlotte Nicole Davis. I really enjoyed the first book, which was The Good Luck Girls. I'm not interested in continuing the series, even though I like book one. I recommend it all the time. Again, YA, I'm just, I'm not there anymore. I can't make fetch happen. The Curse Workers by Holly Black. Look at how much space this book was taking up on my shelf. Like, piss me off right now. Pissing me off. The Happiest Girl in the World by Alina Dillon. I don't need that. The Brides of Maracor by Gregory Maguire. Chorus by Rebecca Hoffman. The Affairs of the Falcons by Melissa Rivero. I got this at a library sale. One Dark Throne by Kendar Blake. I am interested in reading this though. Okay, some advanced reader copies that are doubles because I have the hard covers here. Bad Habit by Alana S. Patero. I'm just going to get rid of this because I don't think it's, um, I don't think I'm going to be interested. A Magical Girl Retires by Park Cillian. Soul Broken, a guidebook for your journey through ambiguous grief by Stephanie Sarazen. Road of the Lost by Nafisa Azad. More young adult. A Consuming Fire by Laura E. Weymouth. More young adult. Bone Weaver by Aiden Polidoros. Crosshairs by Catherine Hernandez. I read this book. I like this book. I don't think it's a favorite and I don't need to keep it. Uh, Night of the Raven, Dawn of the Dove by Rati Maratra. Um, I'm going to get rid of this like I'm getting rid of the hardcover. The Association of Small Bombs by Karen Mahajan. Fledgling by Octavia E. Butler. Um, I hate to get rid of a butler, but I wasn't a fan of this. Okay. The Fortunes of Jaded Women by Carolyn Hoen. I read a little bit of this and I didn't get anything that told me that. I just needed to keep reading. Sophie and the Bone Song by Adrian Tooley. 
YA First Comes Light by Alicia Ray. Okay, A Solitude of Wolverines by Alice Henderson. She Who Rides the Storm by Caitlin Sangster. It's a thick one. Woo! So that is going to be it for this video. I know that's over 100 books. I cannot wait to get them out of here because they've been taking up a lot of space. I've gotten a lot of new books lately and I can't wait to fill my shelves up with them and get the old ones out. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Again, let me know if I'm getting rid of some of your faves. You know, maybe I might, I might reconsider. You know, I, I don't know. Um, make sure you subscribe if you have not already and I'll catch y'all in the next bookish video. Bye!